Hello, my name is Jane Thompson-Webb. I'm Head of Collection Services at Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. Anywhere else that would equate to Head of Conservation. I began my career through being an archaeological conservator and I did a lot of self-employed object conservation. I've gradually moved into collection care and in the last few years I've done a lot of training for anyone who works in museums around the West Midlands. I'm also Chair of Care of Collections Group for ICON, the Institute of Conservation, so I try and be very involved in the profession and keep up to date with what's going on. In this clip we're going to be talking about some of the basics of object cleaning. There are two main reasons for undertaking object cleaning. One is a sort of day-to-day -day cleaning method which helps to remove surface soiling. It's beneficial for the public, particularly if objects are on display, because objects in museums are removed from their original context and people expect to see that they're being cared for. So by cleaning them, we fulfil public expectation and also we ensure that the collections that we care for look at their best when people come to see them. The other method generally for object cleaning is to use something a little more interventive. So for basic cleaning, we're really thinking about dusting. For more interventive cleaning, it may be solvent cleaning, and that's to remove more ingrained soil. And that's usually undertaken when things are required for exhibition. They may have been in store for some time. So let's think about basic cleaning first. If you can imagine your gallery and objects are on display, it's a good idea to try and do a basic dust maybe once a week, once a fortnight, depending on staff time. Generally, for nice smooth surfaces, things like bronze sculptures, furniture, we use a duster. It's important that dusters are lint-free, and the microfiber cloths that are available now from conservation suppliers, such as conservation resources and preservation equipment, or other areas like supermarkets, John Lewis, Lakeland, are fantastic. Microfiber cloths have a slight static charge so the dust sticks to them and the fibres generally are extruded through a triangular spinneret which means there's always a sharp edge so it undercuts the dust. You fold the cloth to a pad that's about the size of the palm of your hand and do a flat wipe and that way any catches on the surface, any splinters won't be torn off and you'll feel it and stop. And you just keep refolding and to, to use a clean surface. When the dust is soiled, you just wash it. All you have to make sure is that you don't use a biological detergent because you can leave enzymes on the surface of the duster which you can deposit on objects. If it's an organic material, such as textiles or a wooden sculpture, those enzymes can then start to attack the surface of the object. For rougher surfaces, so if you have stone or picture frames, it's better to use a brush rather than a duster. Two types of brushes are useful. One is a hog's hair brush. They have quite stiff bristles and they'll get into a surface and that's particularly useful on stone where effectively you have quite a stippled surface. The brush gets in and lifts the dust out. The other type of brush that's useful is a pony hair brush and that's very soft. For it more interventive cleaning when you need to use a solvent, it's important to remember that water is one of the most powerful solvents that we have and you should always try using water first. Try using it hot if cold isn't working very well. Try using it with a spot of conservation detergent and that will very often break down the dirt film and take it off. There's been a lot of research into dust recently and that's shown that in the right relative humidity conditions, after about 24 hours, dust will chemically bond to a surface. So Quentin Crisp in his famous quip was quite correct where he said after three months the dirt doesn't get any worse. It's quite true, it doesn't because it's then part of your object and dusting won't do anything. So you do need to use something like water to get rid of it. For other materials, you're looking at solvents such as acetone, industrial, industrial methylated spirits, maybe white spirits. It's really important to test those. Those are generally implied with a cotton swab if your museum has a lot of money, you can go out and buy ready-made cotton buds. Most of the rest of us, we make our own. It's really important not to reuse a swab. You dip it in the solvent, you use it, and you get rid of it. And a jam jar with a whole bodge through the top with a nail or a scalpel makes a really helpful swab remover. You put your stick in, pull it out at an angle, 
the swab is pulled off and it's held in a jar so the solvent can evaporate quite slowly.